Breaking news. Train attack. Bandits have declared war. Deserves to be killed. None of them deserves to leave. Presidency. By the way, in case you're wondering, the president of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, Muhammad Buhari, has not deemed it fit to address the nation because he sees us as people not worthy to talk to, to um, you know, show his vulnerability and express his empathy, sympathy, especially to those who have lost loved ones. Yes, to those who have been, you know, um, who have been adopted. And to those who have seriously been injured, the president of the Federal Republic, you will soon hear, has left the country, is neither here nor there and cannot be bothered what is going on in the country. By the way, these words have been spoken by Femi Adeshino, not the president. So when you hear presidency, it's not Buhari speaking. So don't get it twisted. Let's get all the details. Train attack. Bandits have declared war. Oh, don't deserve to leave. Kill them all, presidency. The presidency has said the bloodthirsty bandits who are currently on rampage across the country, particularly the north, do not deserve to leave, saying they should be killed. President Muhammad the Buhari spokesman, like I told you, is not Buhari. He doesn't on he doesn't relate with the people. He doesn't understand what anybody is going through and cannot feel it because he never had it in him. Okay, let's continue. Yeah, that's what the president not the president speaking, by the way. President Muhammad the Buhari spokesman. Okay, Femi Adeshino, who stated this in a statement on Friday while reacting, since this thing happens since when? He's just reacting. They just break. Why reacting? Why reacting to the attack on the Abuja Kaduna train said the assassins have declared war on the country. According to him, despite what activities may say on abuse uh, of the terrorists' right to live, they should be sent to hell. None of them deserves to live anymore. Additional said, I agree. Those who visit evil on the society do not deserve to live. No matter what some activists may say, they should be sent to hell. I joined the president to plead with our country and the agencies to do the needful and I I say to Nigerians, please be calm. Don't be, don't be weary of the president. He's doing his best. You, you, you heard it. There's a song I grew up hearing, you know, being sung. It said, I did my best, but I guess my best wasn't good enough. It was a song. Buhari, in case you think you're doing your best, newsflash, your best is not good enough. We don't appreciate it. We don't see it. We don't recognize it because you don't mean any of those words. Up until now, you've not been able to address the nation. So we find you very somebody who does not have affiliation with the people and can't be bothered okay with what happened with them because you're not consigned you're not bothered you're not a people's person you have no emotions you have no feelings you don't care what's going on with the people okay so to say yes there are people but i mean that's it you you don't care you you care less okay any type of care is not tied to your belt you do as you please you are a man of your own and you think you are larger than everybody but you've forgotten you went around the country yes you've forgotten you went around the country pleading and soliciting for support and votes in 2015 how wrong we're nigerians that the real yahoo yahoo boys we're talking about we're actually in aso rock here we are here we are being deceived by the same people who told us that they were going to administer you know administration to bring about good governance now you can't even deem it fit to address the people despite all that is going on despite the terrible situations on going in the country you can't even deem it fit to speak to your people that's if they are your people because you feel very detached you okay? you're not part of the pack you don't understand what is going on with anybody you can't you can't relate okay there is like a distant memory it's like a, there are people are trying to force you to do what you you can't you can't do or you don't know how to do so you are just that man who who does not even understand what anybody is saying and you're just wondering why are they all angry what, what's wrong with them because you have no feelings okay you can't empathize you can't see 
expertise? What will it cost the president to address the nation to go to the place where this has happened? Nigerians, if I see anybody go stand behind APC, I will know that you are the real devil. Okay, just to let you know, any APC member at all, any APC member at all, they are part of the failed republic. Okay, and what do you do with something that has failed? You you discard it and you replace it. It has failed, okay? Nigerians in 2015, everybody say all roads, all roads leads to this destination. Oh, here comes the Messiah. Oh, 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 my, my, my. What Messiah exactly are you talking about? Here we are and we see that uh, we've been thoroughly played, okay? We've been thoroughly played and um, none of these persons have any iota of care, respect, orderliness, anything tied to their belt. And what they do largely is that they control continue to deceive Nigerians. They continue to, you know, to play their own cards in their own way. And so Buhari cannot even address or speak to Nigerians. Femi Adeshino had to do it for him. And then you tell me we have a precedent. Could you tell me something else? We don't have a precedent in case that's what you're thinking or feeling. We ain't got no precedent. We've just got somebody, a bully there, okay, who is calling the shot. And then um, when you don't respond to him the way he wants to be responded, responded to, then he begins to throw down Trumps. I say throw down Trumps because you saw what happened with the whole Twitter thing. Okay, he said, uh, uh, the can who tweeted, and uh, you did not say anything. When he came to my own, mm, I would not agree. I would tell you I'm the president of this country. And before you could say Jack Robinson, I mean, now that you have restored Twitter, what did you gain? What did you lose? So Nigerian government, uh, ten and, uh, you know, uh, like we would say six and a half a dozen, we would seriously want to know what the difference is. Mm -hmm. They are the same people people, the same pack flocking together with no clear-cut definition of anything called leadership tied to their bones. Buhari cannot even dare to address Nigerians because he does not care. There's nothing, uh, you know, associated with him that is called care. I mean, it's somebody who does not empathize, sympathize, so he does not understand what you are saying. I mean, on a more serious note, let's give it to the guy. He does not understand what we are saying. He's not on the same page. He does not understand why Nigerians are so worked up. He can't get it. And he's wondering, why are you so worked up? What's the problem after all? Why are you so, why are you doing as if it's more than that? Eh, eh. It's a few people that died. They said this bandit. Okay. Uh, I didn't know that this bandit had that bad. Okay. Uh, ah, so what do we do now? now? Um, okay, that's all right. We'll look into it later. That's the precedent. That's the precedent. You can see that uh, we, we are it. <laughs> Leave us a comment. God bless you. Please don't forget to like us, share, subscribe. God bless you. Have a fantastic day. Bye for now.